San Dosenang Sabatos, written by Palangka Awardee Dr. Luis Gatmaitan, top bills Tanghalang Pilipinos 27th season. It opened last Saturday and is still showing at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. We are privileged to have in the studio the playwright himself, Dr. Luis Gatmaitan. Good morning and welcome to Solar Daybreak, Dr. Gatmaitan. Good morning, Ameline, and uh, good morning to our televiewers. Tito Doc, right? Yes, that's, that's a Doc. series of books that you have written under Hias Publications. That's right. Hias is under, it's an imprint of OMF literature, and I have this series called Mga Kwento ni Tito Doc. And which it's one of the tackles, those, oh, yeah, which tackles? Mga health disease, mga uh, diseases. Is San Dosenang Sapatos part of this series? No, no that's not part of the oh, series. This is a different one. It's a different one, yeah. But, but this, it tackles disability. Yes, and yeah. I understand this is your third first prize award from the Palanca Awards. That's right, that's right. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank Doc, you. You're a five-time, did I get yeah, it correct? Five-time right. Palanca Awardee. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then San Dosenang Sapatos is a story about a, a young girl born without feet. That's right. And with she a shoemaker has, father. That's right, that's right. Why did you why was this chosen um, to be made into a musical by the Tanghalang Pilipino? Well Tanghalang Pilipino was looking for a material to be adapted into a musical and uh, they asked uh, several publishing houses to submit uh, books, no children's books mm -hmm. uh, tackling several issues. And uh, Nanding Josef, the artistic director of Tanghalang mm -hmm. Pilipino uh, read the books mm -hmm. and the sapatos and he instantly mm -hmm. fell in love with the story. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the cast, um, the, the director, Tax Rotakio, and the mm -hmm. uh, other uh, members of Tanghalang Pilipino mm -hmm. uh, took a liking in, uh, in the story. So immediately they uh, adapted it into a mm -hmm. musical mm -hmm. and uh, they asked Layeta Bukoy, a professor from the University of the Philippines in Los Baños, mm -hmm. to do the musical adaptation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm not a playwright actually. I'm a uh, 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 children's, children's book, book author. author. Yes, the playwright is Layeta Bukoy, who and, did the and, adaptation. And this is a full musical, I understand. So it will be uh, all songs. Yes, yes, all songs. It's uh -oh. actually the first sung through musical of mm -hmm. the Tanghalang Pilipino. When you say sung through, it's you know it's uh, from beginning it's to all end. songs from beginning to end. So you have to listen to the to every uh, line, you know. Mm -hmm. So because yun yung kwento. <laughs> I was, your book is, ano, um, it's in English and in Filipino. Yeah, it as comes well. into languages. Yeah. Wow. And Bilingual. I, I think all of mm -hmm. the local children's books now come mm -hmm. into languages. Uh, At I least it caters to all who would uh, prefer to read it in Filipino or prefer English. to read it in English. Yes. I noticed mm -hmm. that your themes deal with quite sensitive topics like adoption, mm -hmm. disability, and mm -hmm. even death. Yes. Why choose these topics? What draws you to these? Well, actually, uh, you know, these topics are. Um, not oftenly discussed, yes, no? especially for children. Yes, folks. So, but I believe that uh, mm -hmm. the children are they have wisdom, no? they can understand such complex stories provided you give them a um, magandang approach sa pagsusulat ng kwento. I think it depends upon the writer. Mm -hmm. uh, the writer has to be very sensitive in, uh, in tackling stories such as you know, adoption, disability, and marital separation. Yeah, these kids are not exempt kasi from mm -mm. yung mga ganitong mm -mm. issues. No? Yes. So, Have you, what was the most interesting comment that you got from a child who has read your books or has read one of your books? Well, sabi nila, na, yung maybe ilang kids, sabi, naiyak sila or na, na inspire sila. I have this book then yung Pambihirang Buhok ni Raquel. Wow. Which was what's, published, what's by, uh, by, published by Adarna House. It's uh -huh. about a girl uh, with leukemia. Mm. And uh, she got bald because of her chemotherapeutic treatment, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, she wore wigs of different designs and styles. Mm -hmm. And uh, nung, nung nabasa ng mga kids with cancer sa hospital, uh, talagang na, na ano sila, naka-identify sila, na sila yes. yung nasa story. And I think yung to be able to, to give a voice to the, to the kids na walang, wala talagang, parang kinukonsider natin nasa, nasa gilid sila ng ating society. Isa yun eh, no? Pa pati kay Susie, yung mm -hmm. central character Dito in the sa, stories and the sense of sapatos. So, yung usually, kids with disability, hindi sila nagiging focus, central focus sa mga stories. Mm -hmm. Maski sa mga depiction sa mga, sa mga pelikula or television, uh, shows. Laging nasa gilid sila. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's a central yeah, character I, I in your books. That's right. Para bigyan din sila ng voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, San Jose and Zapatos. I understand this is still available in bookstores. That's right. And of in course, all national can, bookstores. So whether they books. read it, they can also watch the, right. the, the musical, musical adaptation, which is ongoing now from July. This, oh, it started in July 13. That's right. This one right? is the no no mm -mm. from July. Uh, from they nag start sila last July 13. Yes. And then it will end until July 21. 21. So they still have three more days today. Mm -hmm tomorrow and Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we have three shows a day, no? Para dito sa San Jose ng Sapatos. We'll cry and laugh at the same time. <laughs> be, what uh, what would you, when you write your books, and especially this now, it's a musical, mm. what do you want us to feel when we come out to the theater or after we read your books? Even well, adults. Well, ito yung isang magandang comment, no? Mm -hmm. May isang father na first time in the musical and he said, I was healed by the musical, by just watching the, the musical, the performance. Uh, parang uh, healing took place. Parang may, mayroong catharsis siguro. And uh, siguro yun yung power din ng music. And especially mm -hmm. the music was done by Noel Cabangon, mm -hmm. napakagaling na composer. And co-composed by Jed uh, Balsamo. Mm -hmm. So I think nagtulong-tulong yung magandang kwento. And then the, mus the music uh, executed by Mr. Cabangon and Balasamo, and uh, yung stage direction. And although hindi linear, when you see the musical, it's not parallel dun sa book. No? Ah, okay. They, they, yes, they oh. reconstructed it somehow. Somehow, somehow. Mm -hmm. no? Kasi mas marami na sa dreamland, pero it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay with me because, you know, when you do the stage uh, mm -hmm. adaptation, uh, talaga medyo nababago. But okay. it's fine with me. Kasi gusto ko ding ma-surprise as an author how they uh, made it into a musical. So for those who want to catch San Dusenang Sapato sa Tanghalang Pilipino sa CCP, it runs until July 21. July 21. And this is their season mm -hmm. opener. Oh. There are five uh, shows pa under Tanghalang Pilipino. So we look forward to more of your books, Dr. Gatmaitan. Thank you very much. I understand you already much, have 45 yeah. and more to come. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so more much. More to come. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. Thank you, Ms. Amelie. Thank you to Dr. Luis Gatmaitan for joining us this morning.